So the scenario is as follows. You have a WordPress-based uh, website, and you go along and you visit it to see if all is well. And instead of seeing this, you see this, error establishing a database connection. After swearing and shouting and punching the wall and uh, phoning your developer who's off on holiday in Bermuda, you decide, well, let me see if I can try and fix this myself. Now, the interface between your website and the database is contained in a file which is on your website called wp-config.php. Now, if you run your own server, then you will have a control panel in your server called whm. That's relatively easy. Then you just go via whm and you click on a cPanel for the website that you want to have a look at. That in turn will open up this screen, cPanel, and then you have to look at two spots here. One is file manager and one is the MySQL database. First of all, go off to file manager, find in public underscore HTML the wp-config.php file, and then download that. I'm not going to download it. What I did earlier was download wp-config-sample.php, and I opened it in a plain text editor. That file looks something like this. Okay. There are three spaces or spots where you need to check. You need to check the name of your database, the database username, and you can't check the database user password, so I'm going to recommend that you actually change it. So, to find the name of your database, remember you opened up the MySQL databases earlier, and that will give you your you can see what's going on. Yeah, you can see the name of the database, and under the users, you can see the name of the user. Ordinarily, these will be different. In this case, they're both the same. Um, I like to mix and match things. So, check to see that your user and your database name are the same. Then, you need to click on Change Password, because remember, you can't check the password. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the password for the username. This is just to make sure that everything is hunky-dory. Use the password generator. It's probably the easiest thing. Um, copy that and then say use password. But remember, the password is not changed just yet until you actually click and tell the system to change the password. Once you've done that, return to your wp-config.php file and paste that particular password in where it says password. Save this file to your local machine and then return to your file manager where you will be able to upload. But before you upload, change the name of your original wp-config.ph file, .php file, just in case. All you need to do is you just change the name simple as that. Give it some arbitrary name and then upload your new wp-config.php file. Once you've done that, return to where you had a problem where it says error establishing database connection, refresh the screen and voila. Normally that will work. If it doesn't work, well hit me up with a question below and let's see if we can sort it out.